What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So if you guys saw my last video about the G80 M3, I told you guys five things that I dislike about the car. Well, this is that same day, but instead I'm going to be doing five things that I like about the car. And I got to say guys, this list was way easier to come up with. So before we jump into it, I just want to say really quickly, there's a lot of great things to love about this car. It's an all wheel drive M3. It has an amazing amount of power. It has carbon fiber bucket seats. It has a lot of amazing things about it and a lot of things to love about it. However, I wanted this video to focus on maybe like little weird and random things because I feel like everyone's already talked about those other things so no point in going through those again so with that said guys let's just jump into it all right so the first thing on my list is going to be inside the interior and that has to do with the doors more specifically about the doors these door handles I wasn't joking you guys when I said this list is going to be like little random things but if you can tell this door handle is honestly probably one of the coolest door handles I've ever seen if I compare it to like some of my other cars like the F30 the X3 those feel a lot more basic this one just feels like premium it feels expensive and I know it's a little random thing but it's just cool because you literally deal with this thing every time you get in and out of the car and if you guys can tell like it just like fits your hand so well you can just pull it like that I know it's a silly thing but honestly this door handle it's just cool because honestly in expensive cars like these it's really about the details and speaking of details we're gonna go into my second item on my list so the second item on my list has to do with the shifter now if you can tell this thing looks really really cool for a few reasons one it has the M logo embossed right on the top if you guys can see that I think that looks amazing again it's just the details and these expensive cars that really make it feel premium it also has the competition M style stitching all around and then something else if you guys can tell this thing actually has ambient lighting right underneath there so when you guys are driving at night you get that nice like illumination and it just looks pretty cool and besides the fact that it looks cool it exists and what I mean by that is on the 2023 BMW 3 series so like even the M340i BMW swapped out the shifter for like a little nugget or something like that like a really really small shifter and personally I've just never been a fan of those I've always liked the bigger shifters because especially in an automatic car like this if you want to shift with the shifter itself it just feels better obviously you can use the paddle shifters but having that shifter is always a nice thing so just the fact that BMW kept a proper shifter on these cars I think it was a huge win and since I mentioned the paddle shifters let's go into my third item on my list and that is the paddle shifters so as you guys can tell in my car I got the ivory interior as well as the carbon fiber trim and when you get the carbon fiber trim you get these beautiful carbon fiber shifters right over here not only are they carbon fiber so they look really cool but they also have these like nice red accents you can see it shining through with the minus as well as the plus right over there and then not only that you also get these like grooves and grips on the back of the paddle shifter so when you're shifting this car it just feels really good it looks really good if you guys compare these paddle shifters to like the previous generation on the f80s and the f82s this is a massive improvement in my opinion now do they operate the same yes is it a different transmission? Yes, but just in terms of the paddle shifters, this is definitely an improvement. So the first three items on my list had to do with the interior. The next one has to do with the exterior of this car. Now I will say guys, I don't know if this feature is because I got the shadow line lights. If you guys didn't get the shadow line lights, maybe this doesn't apply to you. If you guys have a car without shadow line lights and this doesn't, please let me know down in the comments below. But regardless on my car, it definitely applies. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So like I said, obviously guys, I have the shadow line lights on this car as well as the laser lights. But what that basically means is BMW blacks out these headlights from the factory. You can see that the housing is all blacked out. And now, not only that, but these side markers, these reflectors that are, I think, only required in the U.S., they're also a little blacked out. They're still orange because I think legally they have to make them orange, but they're not like a super bright orange. They almost look like they're tinted. If you guys can tell if I step back like that with the lighting, you can better see what I'm talking about. Now, obviously, yes, there's still orange side markers on our bumper, making the car look a little worse, in my opinion. Unfortunately, that's not BMW's fault. That's just like the US specifications fault. However, this is at least a nice improvement. Am I still gonna black them out? Yes, definitely. But in the meantime, this definitely looks better. Also going to the rear of the car, that's the case for these reflectors as well. They have like a shadow look to them. So props to you, BMW. All right, so now we're on to number five on my list. And I have to say, this is another design element that I really like on these G80 M3s. Now again, overall, it's a beautiful car, but these are like little specific design elements that I think if BMW didn't do, this car would have looked way different. And that is these indents 
on the hood now if you guys remember previous m3s you had like humps and you know distinct things on the m car hoods compared to the normal 3 series this g80 doesn't have like a hump in the middle or anything like that but it does have these indents and personally guys i think this looks really cool because that's what in my opinion helps make these front grills look better on the car that and as well as like this nostril looking thing if you guys can tell the whole hood kind of like makes like this nostril and then it's like indented in the center here overall i think that's really really cool and the fact that they added these indents as well i think it brings it to the next level because if it didn't have those indents it probably would have looked a little silly however just everything that they did about this front end i think it all flows really nicely together and again it's one of those things like if they didn't have these like nostrils and these indents I think at that point, this front grille would have really looked weird. Now, this is just my opinion, but if you guys know, BMW also included these massive grills on the G22 BMW 4 Series. And on those cars, the grille doesn't look as good as on the M cars. And I think it's because these M cars have those nostrils, have those indents. Now, I know some people disagree with me, but again, personally, I think the grills look really good on this car because of those extra design elements. Whereas like on a BMW 4 Series, it doesn't look good. And that's because it doesn't have those extra design elements. All right, so I know that was five things on my list already, but I wanna leave you guys with a bonus one. And that again has to do with the interior of this car. So if you guys watched my previous video, I basically complained about the fact that BMW got rid of all the buttons on the center console over here or the dashboard whatever this thing is called however i will give props to bmw they kept a few key buttons at least ones that i personally use like all the time so you have your volume knob right over here you have your next and previous buttons for your music you also have those on your steering wheel as well but you also have them over here you have your hazard button which i think legally they have to put you also have your defogger both for the front as well as the rear so definitely some buttons that you're going to be using pretty often so really the only buttons that i'm going to be missing mostly is the ac buttons but sometimes else that bmw did which i think was pretty clutch on your iDrive 8 system right over here no matter what screen you're in you always have access to your ac your climate control so it's super easy to adjust you can literally just press it right over here like that and if you want to go into the detailed menu just press on that right over there and you can access everything so although bmw got rid of most of their buttons there they kept a few key ones and they also made the ac easily accessible even though it's through a touch screen so with that said guys that was number six on my list but overall there's a lot to love about this g80 m3 again i tried to focus on some of like the little random stuff that maybe not a lot of people talk about maybe they talk about it anyways but regardless there's a lot to love about this car like the power the handling so much but these are just a few more extra things to love about this car so with that said if you guys want to see more videos about the g80 m3 if you guys want to see the mods that i have coming for this car please hit that subscribe button like this video if you enjoyed it and yeah with that said this video is pretty much done and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace